guys today I have a haul for you guys and this is accumulated stuff I didn't buy this all in one sitting but I really wanted to share with you guys just in case you guys want to reviews or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in I got some brushes thanks to my friend um, Nini homegirl is a bad influence I'll put her down below she has a snapchat and she does amazing tutorials I have learned so much from her and she's also become a really close friend of mine I love her to death so definitely go follow her Okay, so um, first up are Sigma. I got the Tapered Face. This is the F25. I have yet to use this one, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be good for, like, especially for, um, like, contouring, blush, highlight, that kind of stuff. Um, and next I got the Spotlight Duster, the F37. This is just really, really nice for underneath your eyes for if you're going to bake to dust off that powder and also just to dust a light dusting of setting powder as well. So really excited about those. Previously I had ordered the E35 and the E45. These are eye brushes and they are absolutely amazing. <laughs> I totally do not regret buying them at all. She actually recommended these and I feel like they have really stepped up my blending game so absolutely obsessed with these also with my order I got a free little smudge brush which I really really like and um, it's just really good for especially like little corners or if you want to really concentrate eyeshadow in a specific area this is really good for that because it's so tiny especially for my hooded kind of hooded um small eyes so i absolutely love them from mac i recently picked up the 228 which is a small little smudger brush which i wanted for that purpose as well because it's so tiny to go around my eyes i got the 246 and this is really good for packing on color and then i got the 242 i got this thanks to my girl vanessa from vargas beauty i'm gonna put her channel down below definitely check her out she does amazing tutorials and um she was doing a tutorial and she was using this brush and i was like what brush is that <laughs> i need it in my life so i got it and i'm absolutely obsessed with it next up i made a few purchases from ColourPop. i got two of their new satin lips and i got these because of my girl I'm gonna do so many shout outs in this video it's not even funny because all of you girls here on YouTube you're a bad influence um this is because of my girl Stacy I'm gonna put her channel down below she does awesome lip swatches and um I got the satin in Barracuda and Calypso which is actually what I have on my lips today um and then I got the new shimmer shimmer like extra glittery eyeshadows I have yet to play with these um, if you want to see like close-ups of these, I did little videos on my um, Instagram. I'm trying to put more pictures of uh, just like of my collection on Instagram. Let me know what you guys like to see on Instagram. I'd love to hear back from you guys. But I got Arrow, Dance Party, and Far Side. These are absolutely so glittery and beautiful. I can't wait to use them. I'll probably use them on my snap tutorials. I've been doing snap tutorials almost on the daily when I wake up for work. Um, they're not like super, super like. 50 eyeshadows because I'm going just going to work but I have been getting a lot of positive feedback from you guys so I'm so thankful for all of you guys who watch them and enjoy them and last um just to kind of get $30 and be able to get free shipping I picked up stereo which is just this very very beautiful burgundy shade um on a previous order I had ordered quite a few of their eyeliners I really enjoyed their like colored liners I have to say I was disappointed with the black and the brown I expected them to be very pigmented and they weren't the other shades I would say are are really really pigmented and they still they stay in your waterline so I would definitely say if you're gonna pick something up pick one of the colors not like the regular basic colors are not really that great um so I went ahead and picked up like the blue the green the baby blue blue, white, yellow, and then brown and black. And I kind of regret these two, but it is what it is. Um, they are really nice. Um, I Like I said, I love the colored ones, those other two. Um, I expected more from them, especially based on the color ones that I've tried before. Um, I expected them to be way, way more pigmented. Also from Sephora, I got the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, which is actually the liner I have in my waterline. And the um, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, this was like the... A VIB birthday gift and this month was my birthday and my birthday is on October 11th so yeah so I had an awesome birthday and I'm actually wearing um, a gift my husband um, got me this beautiful opal ring with diamonds and also the necklace to match it because um, he's always into giving me jewelry and I absolutely 
don't whine. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I've really been um, loving and I just bought was the NYX um, No Filter Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Medium Olive. This just gives your canvas, this reminds me so much of MAC MSF, it just kind of gives like that kind of like that luminous glow to your face and it absolutely kind of like blurs your imperfections so absolutely love it. MSFs in MAC I feel like they always tend to run a little bit pinky undertone and I, I stopped buying them because of that and I really like that this has like a yellowish undertone to it so this matched my skin perfectly and is probably um half the price of MAC. Next thing that I picked up was the Inglot Door Line. I've always heard so many great things about this and because my Inglot gel liner was kind of drying out, I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. And I have to say, this is amazing. I, I mean, if you guys want me to do a full review, I'll do a review, but this stuff is really, really good. I do recommend it. Um, also, I picked up the It Bye Bye Pores Primer. I've yet to use this, but we'll definitely see. Everyone has been raving about it, so hopefully it is worth <laughs> the money. Uh, next up, I also got the Heavy Metal um, Glitter Liner from Urban Decay, and this is another purchase because of Nini, because she uses these on her snap tutorials, and they look absolutely amazing. So definitely we'll be playing with that. Um, I picked up the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I don't remember who I saw talk about this, but they said that this was a really, really great moisturizer, and so I picked it up um, in the mini size to try out. Next from Influencer, I got the Super Stay um, Lippies. I'm going to be reviewing these for Influencer. I think I'm probably just going to do like a mini review on my Instagram. Um, so far, I have to say I'm not really a fan of these. From the Jordana um, little display, I got the white, which was like for their Halloween display. Um, I got the white because you can actually like mix this in with your other matte liquid lipsticks and like tone them down if you wanted to like maybe a dark shade that I can't wear as much for work I can add a little bit of the white tone it down and actually be able to wear it more also I got some new concealers I got the clearly brighter Garnier skin active I really like this for days that I want something like a little bit of a lighter coverage and something more moisturizing this is really nice and luminous and also I picked up the instant age rewind my friend uh, Nini was talking about this and I got the color neutralizer um, I had forgotten how much I like this I had purchased this and used up the whole thing back in the day and now I just purchased this again and absolutely love it it just really brightens underneath the eyes and it doesn't like settle in your fine lines as well next up is the Mario Badescu facial spray I used to always have this and I ran out so I went ahead and got a new one this is like seven bucks it's really really great it hydrates your skin it has rose water it has herbs and aloe and it's just amazing if you're looking for a good setting spray to just really moisturize your skin this is your best bet and it's super cheap Next up is the Skin Deva 20% Vitamin C and E Ferulic Acid Serum. This is supposed to be anti-aging and help against like aging. It's supposed to help um, brighten and even your skin tone. And they also told me it's for like hydrating your skin. The company actually contacted me and actually sent me this for review purposes. So I will definitely be testing this out for you guys. Also, I picked up this $20 set from Ipsy. They were having like this sale. I always check if you're an Ipsy member, always check their Ipsy deals um, on their website. So they had this for $20 and it came with the Park Avenue Princess um, Tarte Bronzer. It came with the Wet n Wild Precious Petals, which was the one that I was missing. So I was super excited to get, on, <laughs> get my little hands on it. Um, it came with the Bella Pierre, this is called the Mineral Bronzer and Pure Element. Uh, it came with the Ofra You Do You um, highlighter, so excited to try that. It came with the Trust Fund That Glow, which is like a stick, um, kind of like the, uh, what is that called? It's like a stick kind of highlighter. Um, I, I remember there's there's an expensive one that's um, very similar to it. And then it came with two brushes, which is the Wet n Wild Stippling Brush and the Royal Lang, Lang Nickel um, Fan Brush. So 
Whew, I'm getting like a little tired. I feel like I have so much stuff that I bought. Okay, I also picked up some powders uh, thanks to my friend Nini as well. This is the Derma Blend Setting Powder. Let me know if you guys want a review on this. This is a really, really good. And also the Flower Miracle Matte Powder. This stuff is amazing. It will make anything matte and stay on your face. So absolutely love this powder. The only thing I don't really like is even though the packaging is cute, I mean, look at this thing is like huge I mean and it, it only comes with um 8 grams or 0.28 ounces so I think like they over they went a little bit overboard on the packaging next up is the Sephora favorites this thing is amazing if you guys are looking to try out products definitely check out their different kits this is a really good bang for your buck to in a way of trying different products or different brands they have them for like mascaras um, like this one's for eye stuff um, they have all kinds of different ones so I would definitely check them out and I picked up this one that has like different eye products let me know if you guys want like a full on review of each of these and I will definitely do that like an all video of all in one because um, this is a really, really great deal. Um, also for the holidays, I got the Kat Von D. This is called the Everlasting Mini Liquid Set and it came with all of these. Kat Von D is one of my all time favorite liquid lipstick formulas so I definitely had to jump on these and they look like so much fun I definitely think I would mix these two with the Jordana just to kind of tone them down a little bit but the array of colors is absolutely stunning last is all the freaking palettes that I picked up lately so first off I'm gonna start with something that I bought off a sale my friend um, Shauna who I will link her down below she has a awesome channel she's such a sweetheart she did a sale on all her products that she wasn't really using and so I picked up the she was selling this one the ombre nudes by Becca oh my god these are so beautiful and blendable I kind of regret not getting both of them um, by the time I reached out to her somebody had gotten the other one the more um, warmer shades but I would definitely pick up the palette because these are absolutely amazing so I'm so thankful that she did that sale and also from her I picked up the Visart Sultry Muse and um, I do have to keep playing around with these but so far I have to say I'm not really impressed by these I wouldn't have paid $80 I bought this off of her for like 20 and I don't know I still have to play with it but I feel like for 20 it's okay but for 80 I'm just like really really disappointed in the quality so definitely we'll be um, testing these out let me know if you guys want like my two cents on it also I was at Marshall's and I picked this up for $17 this is the Too Faced Love pretty um, eyeshadow collection it's super super cute and I couldn't believe it I was just like in line and they had this available brand new beautiful for less than 20 bucks so if you're at Marshall's definitely go around and see if you find this because I, it's a steal like it really is a steal okay so last uh, three and I'm done is the whoa is the Anastasia um, master by palette by Mario I just had to pick this up the shades are very neutral and not, not like anything spectacular but her formula is absolutely amazing so I knew I wasn't gonna regret it um, every palette that I've gotten from her I haven't regretted so I just was like you know what add to cart check out <laughs> so really really am excited to play with that it's I still have yet to open it um, next up is the Lorac Pro Mega 3. I have the 1 and 2. Absolutely love this packaging that is white with rose gold, but honey, look at this. Look. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully it will focus. Focus. No? Does it? Is it focusing? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's already starting to get hellified dirty. It's super annoying that, um, you know, that they did this, but the colors in here are absolutely stunning. The quality is amazing. I love Lorac palettes, so I was like, no, Melissa, you don't need it. And then the sale started, and I was like, add to cart, gotta have it. <laughs> and I totally don't regret it. I actually did the look that I have on my eyes. Um, hopefully, I have a tutorial for you guys, but it was using all of the shades. Um, well, not all of the shades. Well, some of the shades in this palette. So absolutely love these palettes. If you can get your hands on them, get them. It's definitely worth the price points. I mean, you're getting a steal for the price and the amount of shadows that you're getting in here. So I don't regret it. 
Last is the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyeshadow Palette. Um, a lot of people say that these are dupes for the Makeup Geek ones. Let me know if you guys want my two cents on that, and I will definitely do a video for you guys. Um, I have been playing around with a few of them, and I really like the quality so far. Um, with shipping, and I think I used a discount code. I think I only paid like $16 with shipping for this palette and you get a good amount of shades. Um, you get 28 shades in here. So um, let me know if you guys want a full review and demo or swatches or whatever. Okay guys, so that is all I'm gonna share. I have a few other things, but definitely not gonna make this video way too long. Um, thank you guys as always for watching, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, hit that little red button down below. I love you guys to death. Um, and yeah, until next time. Bye guys.